In an ABC News exclusive, Travis King's family is breaking their silence for the first time since the Army private was freed from North Korea. King is back on U.S. soil, but the mystery remains over why King crossed into the North Korean side of the border, setting off an international incident. A lot of unanswered questions, and now King's family is on a mission for answers and closure. Our very own Lindsay Davis sat down with King's mother and stepfather. This morning, the family of U.S. Army Private Travis King is speaking out for the first time since he was released from North Korea, where he spent 72 days in custody. Uh, my first impression was it was uh, like, thank God he's back. I thank the Army for getting him back, bringing him back to America. King's mother and stepfather say they've been living through a nightmare, but are thankful the 23-year-old is now back on U.S. soil after he voluntarily ran across the North Korean border in July, the day he was supposed to come back to America. How has this been for you, Claudine, as, as a mom? It put me in a very dark spot in my life. I had a nervous breakdown over it. Hardest thing you've ever had to do? Yes, with. yes. They say physically King looks okay, but that his time in North Korea and why he went remain a mystery. Have you all asked him, you know, what happened while you were there in North Korea? When we asked him, he said that he couldn't tell us mm -hmm. what happened. He told me that the Army told him that he can't tell anybody that he had signed the agreement with them. King is now in a detention center in El Paso, Texas, where he's facing charges for crimes, including desertion, assaulting fellow soldiers, and possession of child pornography. The actions that the Army is seeing that he's doing is not Travis. He's not like that. He's a good boy, and he's not the type that uh, hit anyone, you know. He's a peaceful person. But but the child pornography, your reaction to that? That's completely out of character. Yeah. Something so foul, uh, you know, an allegation of that nature, uh, that's foul. That's not Travis. No way. No way. The Army tells ABC News they won't comment on ongoing litigation, but the private king is presumed innocent until proven guilty. His family admits he did change while serving overseas, and the, quote, peaceful person who deplored alcohol was suddenly accused of getting into altercations while drinking, forced to serve 47 days in a South Korean prison for assault. I'm concerned about his mental health right now. Because the way he's behaving, that the Army is seeing that he's behaving, generally he doesn't behave like that. Is he getting any kind of treatment? Not that I know of. I don't think he is. Something had to have happened to flare him up because uh, the only time Travis would even, he never even hollered, you know, or got angry. He wouldn't, like I say, he wouldn't even step on an ant. North Korea claims King said he decided to cross the border because he harbored ill feelings about inhumane treatment and racial discrimination within the U.S. Army. His family says they're not exactly sure what he experienced, but they believe something happened. I still feel inside that something happened to him, and he's the only one that can say what happened. His family is now calling on the military to be more forthcoming as they fight for his freedom. Now that Travis has been charged, what, what is your plan? To fight the charges and fight the charges hard. He has people that love him and are in his corner. Mm -hmm. and that are going to fight this all the way through with them. And Lindsay Davis joining us now in your piece. His mom mentions that she saw some changes in him. What changes did she see? You know, she says that he's a shell of the man who she dropped off for the military, who was happy, healthy, excited to serve. But she says that last September, she started noticing some differences. When they would talk on the phone, for example, she talked about one particular call where he just kept saying over and over again, I am not the army soldier you want me to be, just again and again. Mm -hmm. Then the call ended, she said about 10 minutes later, the military called her back and said, everything's okay. And then she would lose contact with him, that he had lost his phone, she said, and that she just wasn't hearing from him, except from the military saying that he was involved in these altercations. And you know, the mom also talked about the emotional toll that this has taken on her and her family. Mm -hmm. How is she doing? now. 
You know, they, she has five children in, in all, and, and she talked about, as you heard in the piece, that she had a nervous breakdown, mm -hmm. that she would collapse, that it was just so much weight for her, especially while he was in North Korea, and she just didn't know what the outcome was going to be. She says she's going to fight the charges, and she's going to stand by him. What does she think of these charges? They're very serious. Well, she says the child pornography, she refuses to even believe. I mean, she said the desertion, she expected that that was going to happen mm -hmm. because he did, you know, flee, and, and he left uh, his military duties. Um, um, but at this point, she says she's more worried about his mental health, and she wishes that he would be getting some kind of treatment during this time and not just be in a jail cell. All right, Lindsay, thank yeah, you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And you can watch Lindsay's interview with the family of Travis King streaming on ABC News Live Prime tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. Mm -hmm. Again, thanks, Lindsay. Thanks, guys. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.